Hi everyone, this is my review of the SV Boni Ultra High Contrast Filter for astrophotography. The filter comes in a very simple box. Inside you will find your protective case that you can use to keep your filter safe and away from uh, damages and dust. Um, this is the clip-in version of the filter for um, Canon EOS crop sensors, but you also find the same filter on a one and a quarter or two inches um, uh, dimensions for a dedicated camera and for uh, telescopes. Um, this fil filter belongs to the family of the narrowband filters. Basically, um, it allows uh, most, I would say in this case, 90% uh, the transmission of the H alpha O3, S2, and H beta wavelength. Um, it's very useful for light polluted areas. Uh, in particular, it, it, this filter is very useful to um, cut off the uh, light from LED, white LED street lamps, from high low pressure sodium lamps, from mercury lamps. Um, by using this filter you'll be able to keep your background darker and maintain um, unchanged details of your deep skype object. Um, it also features it also feature a multi-layers anti-reflection coating um, and yes um, uh, on hand feels very uh, robust and very well made. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fit this um, clipping filter into the DSLR camera. Um, it's very simple the process. You remove your lens from the front of your camera, place your camera down on a sturdy su surface. You remove your filter by using the allocated area within the uh, protective case. My personal method is to put position the filter at the bottom of the um, allocated area within your DSLR and then let the filter go down and then press from bottom and top and then from the two sides. Make sure the, the filter is very well positioned and then you fit in again your lens. Job done and ready to go. To remove this filter, same process, you remove your lens, position your camera down personally prefer to hold down the bottom part of the filter and press down and pull up the top part of the filter. It's, um, it's more simple to do than explain, but yes, it's, um, it's very straightforward. Um, the, the filter fits very well the DSLR. Once out, put your filter back into the protective case and close. Despite the bad weather and the uh, short dark nights due to spring season, um, I've been able to uh, test this filter for one night um, and I used it to shoot the uh, North American Nebula. Um, I've, for my test, I've used a very simple and basic kit, which is my EOS um, Canon uh, DSLR with my 75 uh, to 300 millimeter zoom lens. Um, together with my um, Skywatcher um, Star Tracker um, and a simple tripod. Um, I live in a Bortle 5 sky, therefore uh, my, my, the area where I'm shooting is surrounded by street light, so a lot of um, light pollution. So we will, we will see what the results are using the SV Boni Ultra High Contrast Filter. Um, I'm going to show you two sets of photos. Um, the first one is, is, is the same target, also the um, uh, North American Nebula um, shot at ISO 800 and the second set will be at ISO 1600. Um, the first photo will be it is without uh, the ultra high contrast filter. And the second one is with the ultra high contrast filter. As you can see, the photo without the ultra high contrast uh, filter is washed off as a very white background, not much detail going on. The second photo, um, I, I, I can personally already see details of the uh, North American Nebula. The background is nice and dark, 
there is a, a slightly red halo around some of the stars, but it's nothing can be fixed in, on post-processing, so I'm not worried about it. Um, same for the second set of photos. Here are the results. I also want to show you um, the total one hour exposure I've been able to collect on the same night. Uh, I know it's not a lot for astrophotography, so an hour is uh, um, a bit too little um, to achieve a good result uh, image, but I'm impressed of the result. Um, I did stretch um, slightly um, excessively uh, this the data for this image because I wanted to show you the amount of data I've been able to collect with a, such a simple kit using this SV Bony Ultra High Contrast filter on a, a Bortle 5 Sky. Uh, I'm very impressed, as you can see, the amount of detail um, collected. Overall, um, I'm impressed and very satisfied of this filter. Um, considering the price um, for uh, this SV Bony product, uh, which is um, way below the, the average price for the same type of filters, uh, I'm, I'm positively uh, impressed. Uh, I will keep testing this filter, I keep sharing the results, and I look forward to test this same ultra high contrast filter with the new SV Boni telescope SV503 80mm. Uh, um, I really look forward to it. Um, in the meantime, I will uh, leave the link uh, below uh, in my bias for the um, to the uh, eBay and homepage for the SV Boni. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and please guys. Oh, 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 oh,